James Cameron had an idea while he was working on Terminator 2. A game called NARC had been out for a few years and he was interested in the digitized characters and interactive entertainment. He knew in Terminator 2 they were doing a lot of digital effects. It would make a nice match if they made a game. So they got in touch with Midway and they made Terminator 2 Judgment Day. This game was really successful so Midway was starting to think, okay, we need to get more licenses, more licensed games. Another movie that was out around that time was Universal Soldier, so they thought maybe they could do a game here, but they didn't want to do one on that movie. They did want to have Jean-Claude Van Damme digitized, so they said, what if instead you played an actor named Michael Grimm in our fighting game? And he says, what about, no, let's just continue making movies. He does that, and actually, the designers, Ed Boone and John Tobias, decide that's actually no problem. We're happy to make this game without a license, and they create a smash, smash hit, Mortal Kombat. 